You know what's really annoying? When you punch yourself in the face. But lately what I'm finding more annoying is cats. The fighting and howling through the night, the running across the roof, the defecating in the garden, but worst of all is the urinating on everything. Now I'm not a cat hater, but seriously, this is a bad problem at my place. They urinate in the front door, the laundry door, the back doors, basically every door. Then there's the gate, gates, wheelie bin, air conditioner and car wheels, tire valve, windscreen, car wheel again, and again, and again. And my favorite is the car air vent. So because of their putrid hormone filled foul piss, you find you need to drive around everywhere Ace Ventura style. Now there isn't much I haven't tried, like there's the traditional stuff. Then there's the old home remedies like citrus, water bottles, mothballs. There was even my failed catapult. I've even tried pissing on my own car. And then I created this. So I'm going to show you how to fight back in a satisfying and humane way using a few automotive components and general household items. Now just to confirm that the problem is a cat urinating on my car and not some kind of Mitsubishi haters prowling late at night. Come on, get out of here. I've set up a couple of cameras for reconnaissance. The resulting catalogue showed that it was not just one cat visiting my property, but nine of them and one dove. Naturally I've named them. So we have Tabby Green Collar, Eeroff, Ranger White Legs, Tabby Toilet Rug, Blacky Bung Eye, Rang a Piss Bucket, Fatty Fatty 2x4, Stupid Cat, and Blacky McLaser Eyes. So, in order to build your feline defense system, firstly you need to dismantle the door of your car to extract a very useful automotive component, the central door locking lock. This is responsible for locking your car centrally. If you have aftermarket central locking because your car was built in 1850 like mine, it's handy at this point to also grab its support bar. While in the car, I'm also going to use the low current triggered relay from my central locking system. If you only have standard relays like the one on your car horn, it's okay. It's simply a matter of this, like that, with these. So simple. The next item you're going to need is your car battery or you can even use the 12 volt backup battery from your house alarm system. Next you need a wireless motion sensor from a house alarm. You know the ones that have the little red light that blink as you walk past. Also grab a disused cardboard toilet roll insert or paper towel insert. Lastly if you don't already have one you'll need to get a hand triggered hose nozzle. Now for construction. Firstly, pull apart your motion sensor to expose its circuit board. Solder two wires to where the flashing red LED is connected. We run these two wires out the back of the unit to our relay switch, which the LED will then trigger. Then connect some crimp lugs to make all your wires stick to each other and to your 12 volt battery. Now take your garden hose nozzle and drill a hole through the handle. At this point, it's also good to grind some stuff so it looks good on video. Take your support board and screw it back onto your central locking actuator. Take any old bolt and connect the central locking actuator to your hose nozzle trigger. Then use a G-clamp to hold your final assembly in place. Hammer some stuff. Lastly, your motion sensor will need a state-of-the-art directional sight. So gaffer tape the cardboard tube to the front. Then finally, connect it to a tap. And in the end, you end up with this, a big mess of wires. Remember kids, don't mix water and electricity, so make sure you use a top of the line waterproofing shield. Now find a thoroughfare that you know attracts a high level of captivity. You may also need to funnel your unwelcome visitors into position. So basically the idea is the cat walks past this directional motion sensor. The red LED illuminates powering up the relay which sends 12 volts to the central door lock. This then pulls the hose trigger giving you one wet tabby. And for the purpose of your entertainment, I've wired up a bunch more stuff to trigger a light, HD video camera and stills camera firing off three shots a second. Now the final step in the process is to test your setup and what better to test it with than the most irritating thing in the world, Kesha. Or failing that, the second most irritating thing, this giraffe. Once you're happy it's all working correctly, it's time to leave it overnight. Now to check out our results. Now first up, who have we got here? Ah, it's Blackie McLaser Eyes. 
but his super laser eyesight might be onto the infrared trigger. We'll see. Actually, I know where I've seen this cat before. Next, it looks like we have Tabby Toilet Rug, casually sniffing out a good spot for some Monday night urine action. And then off he strolls into the side of the garden shed. Next up, it's Fatty Fatty 2x4. We'll see if he fits through the kitchen door. What's interesting is, this isn't actually my first time dealing with obese cats. Now this next one is actually Tabby Green Collar, but unfortunately he was a little too stealthy for the video to pick up at first. But we have the photos. Probably so stealthy due to his lack of back legs. Mm, the video camera was a little too slow again. But Tabby Toilet Rug still enjoyed a good 5am soaking for the second time. Yet another video camera fail, but we have Ear Off. Now I've actually seen this guy urine spraying stuff in the backyard in the past, so I must admit it's quite satisfying to see this one. It's Blackie Laser Eyes, again! Come on, don't cats learn. Point blank, into the table. And off he flies back to the Ever Ready factory. It's Tabby Green Collar, again. Back for an early morning taste of Maine's water pressure. And he celebrates his spraying with some fine b-boy moves. And unfortunately, there was also some collateral damage. Yeah, you can probably guess what's about to happen here, can't you? He's okay though, and now with the lack of cats, has since started a family in our backyard. Now what did I learn from this exercise? Well, the same cats kept coming through time and time again, despite getting hosed. Now, as the old saying goes, yeah, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but apparently you can't teach cats shit. Join me next week when we look at how to remove the cat claw marks from your pavement. Extremely deadly. Five star fest. Nobody can beat you. There was a star years ago called the five star. Got high. Uh, we'll see yeah. <laughs> a fire, a fire. <laughs>